is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. Time for another post review. This is my willowing project, hashtag whimsical willow, from the collab that I did with Crafts with Crashly. And if you remember, I'm gonna put it up in the little eye. We did a fabulous interview with the artist, Tamra, and she is to die for. She has several more that I can't wait to purchase from Diamond Painting Factory UK. Since they switched over to their poured glue, phenomenal quality. I do know some of their canvases are still coming double-sided adhesive because they have them left over in stock. Still good quality. I just prefer the poured glue because I can re-roll them up. Okay, so like I always do, I'm going to be using our handy dandy diamond painting guide and log book. We are going to go through the back as far as how many stars this one receives. We are also going to look at how I bedazzled it up. Yes, the 80s term, bedazzle, sparkling it up. First, let's start with what I changed. This is, oh, Probably should look up what size it is. I believe it is. Let me see. I have the paper right here. A 40, a 50 by 60. So it's a 50 by 60 round. And let's see here. It didn't have any ABs, but thanks to DP with sparklers, I did add some seven. 12s up here to give it a little bit of extra bling in her hair. I did sparklers and ABs. I used the um, 712 as well. That's my new go-to. It's a creamy color. In her eyes, I also added some moon sparkles as well as some mermaid and I added some white ABs just to give her eyes a little bling. I added some, I believe that's 812 in there. It might be 321 in her lips. Her wings, I did, um, what is it? Seven, it's the gray. Let me pull this out real quick. So I don't have them all memorized. Okay, so I did a 762 and I did the white, um, which I think is 5,200. And what I did is because they were wings, the wings themselves I did in the white, and then the hearts and acorns and stars I did in the cream colors just to kind of separate them out. I also have fallen in love with the white opal sparkle. So it gives it, you know, that opal feel, if you know what an opal stone is, but yet still has a little bling bling to it. And so I did that in the fox wing, and I also did it in the mushroom, because I felt like the mushroom needed a little twinkle twinkle, but yet subtle. I really like how the opal catches the light differently and adds texture to your painting. I did not mess with her dress. I, I might have put some sparkle in, but I really wanted you to be centered on her face rather than her dress. Um, so that's why I didn't add sparkle there. Um, actually, I was probably trying to get it done and didn't think about it, <laughs> to be honest. But this was phenomenal. I love it. It's called Autumn Fairy. Autumn Fairy. And I just had so much fun blinging it out. Absolutely. All right. And then I did something with my log book. There it is. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. Canvas glue. We're going to do a post review. So the canvas glue, a complete stick, slippery rivers, bubbles, etc. The glue was great. I had no problems with the glue whatsoever. Five stars. Symbol clarity. Symbol clarity, I am going to give, I'm going to give like four and a half stars. I mean, they, the clarity was there, but there were a few, 
that were iffy. So we had this and we had this. And if you didn't have your light pad, it was hard to distinguish, especially if you need glasses. If you have your light pad and your glasses, it was no problem. So, I mean, you could see everything. It was printed great, so, but it was a little, eh, not perfect. Drill quality and quantity. Did I run out? The quality was great. I didn't run out. I had everything I needed. I have them um, right here. So you can see I had plenty of each one. No problems there. Design success. I, I think it's beautiful. Uh, many times your success is in guessing the size. And I think this is a great size, 50 by 60. I really try to stick with that 50 number. Um, so 40 by 50, 50 by 60, 50 by 30, depending on the ratios. 50 is kind of my sweet spot. And I, I really think this turned out great. Not too big, not too small. And I was able to work it up pretty quickly. Uh, the drills were great. Um, no, no questions there. They were really high quality. They reminded me similar of the drills from Pink Raspberry, actually. And the experience, I love the experience. Not only because I got to, look, I stuck. <laughs> Um, not only because I got to do it with you through an event, a collab, I got to meet the artist um, and have an interview with her. I got to do it with one of my BFFs, Crashly. And, uh, but as far as this is concerned, I had so much fun um, just not having to worry about the symbols or the drills, um, just knowing I had a quality canvas. So that's my post review. So check out Diamond Painting Factory. Um, dot uk if you want 10 percent off feel free to use jennifer roberts all one word and that'll help give you like a little little 10 percent off they did that as a thank you for doing this collab and um i believe they still do free shipping so check that out i love you all take care links are down below until next time be blessed Bye bye